Hey, in this video, we're going to find this derivative. So we have the derivative with respect to x of the inverse tangent of the square root of x. So before we do this problem, it's really important to know what the formula is for the derivative of the inverse tangent. So in general, if you have the derivative with respect to x of the inverse tangent of x, formula is pretty simple. This is equal to one divided by one plus x squared. So in this particular case, we almost have exactly what's in the formula. We just have this extra piece here. We have this square root of x that's basically your inside function. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use what's called the chain rule. The chain rule says that you take the derivative of the outside function, which in this case is the inverse tangent, you leave it evaluated at the inside, and then you multiply by the derivative of the inside. So since we know that we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside, we kind of want to think of the square root of x as a power function like this, so it's easier to differentiate. Okay, so let's go ahead and write down the answer. So this is equal to, oops, it's a little bit sloppy, there we go, this is equal to. <laughs> so basically it's going to be applying this formula, it's the derivative of the outside, evaluated at the inside, so one plus. So instead of x, we have this square root of x. So this is all being squared times the derivative of the inside. And now we're gonna think about it as x to the one half so we can differentiate using the power rule. So we'll bring down the one half. We have x, and then we subtract one from the exponent. One half minus one is negative one half really nice okay and that's it now we just have to kind of clean this up and make it look a little bit better this is one over when you square the square root of x it just becomes x this is one plus x and then this two um, we can bring it down here right because it's being multiplied by one half so i'm going to put the two here and when this comes downstairs it becomes one over x to the one half which can be written as one over the square root of x so I'm gonna write this as a square root of x like this. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful to someone. Good luck.